Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to assign Blink XT or Blink XT2 cameras to another Wi-Fi network. So here I am on my old 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi of my uh, internet service provider and I'm having huge troubles since about a month. So I got this new Aero uh, from Amazon and uh, yeah, it's uh, on different channels. So I hope it will improve. So this is what I'm going to do here. I have the app. I have my two cameras. I mean, they are Blink XT. Uh, cameras but doesn't matter it's the same uh, procedure uh, with the Blink X-T2 so I turn these things around so they don't freak out the whole time and reacting on me uh, by the way I'm using this housing here really nice thing uh, I made another video about that we really recommend that so let's go back to the thing usually what we have to do with such cameras when we are, want to assign them to another network we have to delete them from the app and then reassign from scratch and this can be uh, a really a pain and hopefully that's easier here so I tried a little bit around yesterday and i think it was here in the sync module you have to click on the sync module and there's an option here change wi-fi network this is really uh, unusual so let's see if that works. Oh yeah, we have to bring the sync module here as well. So I brought the sync module here. It's powered now with a power bank. So if you're interested into knowing how much power it uses, it's uh, using 0.1 uh, amp, which means probably it should be able to run about uh, two or three days from a power bank but uh, it's using uh, quite some power so um, yeah anyway let's go back to the thing so we have steady blue we have steady green and that's not what we need here so i think this is what we have to do we have to really to reset the whole thing here so let's see what's happening now yeah i mean uh, it looks exactly in the same in the app and here so now let's try to discover the device here. Yeah, here it just says uh, listed below are the Wi-Fi networks in the range. Uh, of your sync module select the wi-fi network for blink to join so i think we don't have to uh, select the blink network but we have to select the network which we want to join really so let's enter the uh, password here so let's see and again uh, authorization so let's see if this really works sync module connected successfully yeah that was easy so let's try and see if that was already the whole thing so at least looks like we have connection from the one camera but not from the other one yeah i think this one has uh, been a little bit in trouble regarding the battery i'm replacing the battery now yeah so after replacing the battery also on this one now we have connection and i've been able to uh, refresh easily so it looks like we yeah now the camera says it's busy but you can see this thing here that's the tip here from this housing so even my finger here so uh, the good thing is it looks like we just have to change the wi-fi here in the sync module we don't have to do anything with these cameras it's just a little bit confusing that uh, at the beginning uh, we had to click here and then change network and then uh, we had to reset here on the side here like with a tooth pick so that's the only thing just short press here so we have this uh, blinking thing here which matches to the app so actually that's super super easy and even uh, easier than with the cloud edge i mean with the cloud edge it was super easy so there we had to just uh, like delete the cameras and reassign because uh, it's such an easy process that it hasn't been a hassle but like we don't have the history uh, anymore and uh, i think there's a new name now for the camera but anyway i mean it's not big deal but here it's even easier so 
uh, 100 points for yeah not actually 100 points the the thing is that we had to reset but uh, it was not a big deal and it was uh, actually uh, nicely described and uh, everything worked really good so as a last thing here if you want to know how the blink x or x2 works with the amazon Eero, yeah uh, you can see i have it now outside or both cameras outside i've already tested them uh yeah they're working pretty good so we can go to the settings and go down and see the connection and you can see camera to wi-fi and camera to sync module both are in maximum strength with this camera and this camera is behind the house it's pretty far away and it has to cross a couple of walls to the next uh, aero or aero access point and you can see also for this camera camera to wi-fi and camera to sync module maximum strength so it looks like it's a good combination to have this aero with the blink xt or xt2 so if you have to do same thing don't hesitate just do it looks like it's a pretty safe and straightforward process and uh, yeah that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about the things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time